guys, this is um, another lesson in place value. We are going to be doing the three forms of numbers with decimal numbers, numbers that have digits in the whole numbers and to the right of a decimal. And we are working with standard word and expanded form. Big on expanded form when we get to a decimal number. So here's what that looks like. Let's say I have the number 32 and 487 thousandths. So, if you can read this properly, um, if it's important to be able to read it properly because you understand place value chart. If you don't, get out your place value chart so that you understand what place each of these numbers is or where they're, where they're sitting. Remember I relate it to a parking lot? What parking spot is each of these numbers sitting in? They each get their own and they're each called a specific name because it has a specific value, okay? So, um, let's go ahead and identify that this is standard form. If you think of something standard, it's kind of like, it's a given. It's the plain way to write a number as a number. It's standard form. But what if we wanted to do word form? Word form is going to be really important to understand so that expanded form comes a little bit easy. So, our first number here, we always start to the left. We read, just like we read sentences, we read left to right. So, my first part is 32. The decimal is always represented with the word and. 487. Now, don't forget, when we are working with decimals and numbers to the right of the decimal, you have to identify the last digit and what place it's in. Okay, and that, ha that word has to be added. It's not just 32 and 487. Because if I say 487, we're thinking of the whole number 487, which is not the case. This is a small number. This is 487 out of 1,000. So I have 32 and 487 thousandths, because this 7 is sitting in the thousandths. So 32 and 400. 87 thousandths. Again, it's very important not to forget this last part, the thousandths word. Where is that last digit sitting? It's in a, the right of a decimal. It's a decimal number. You have to include that thousandths part. Notice I didn't say four tenths, eight hundred, seven thousandths. We don't do that. You say it as a whole, 487, and then you add on where that digit, that last digit lands. Again, the seven is landing in the thousandths place according to our place value chart. So how do I take this and expand it? So it gets a little bit different when we work with the numbers to the right of the decimal. But as far as the numbers in front of the decimal to the left, it's very much the same if you watch my other place value lesson on how we expand. So the first digit is a 3, and it's sitting in the tens place, so it would be 3 times 10 plus, I like to write the plus really big because it helps me remember I'm going to the next digit. I have a 2, and I multiply it times a 1 because it's in the ones place. Plus, now, when you see this decimal, you're going to start to put in parentheses, okay? Because the parentheses is indicating that these numbers are now in the decimal places, the place value chart of a decimal. Take the digit, 4. Now, I'm not going to multiply it times a 10. Yes, it's in the 10's place, but it's not 10. It's not 10. It's not 40. It's 4 out of 10, remember, because it's a decimal. So it's 4 out of 10. And I'm sorry, this needs to be 4 times 1 tenth. I apologize. So let's go over that again. You take the digit, which happens to be a 4. It's the very next one in our number. You still multiply it by how much it's worth based on what place it's sitting in. It's sitting in the tenths. It's not a 10, like over here, 30, which was 3 times 10 to get my 30. It's smaller. So we get smaller by representing it as a fraction because fractions are smaller than wholes. Imagine I only have 1 out of 10. And if I multiply that times 4, I'll get my 4 out of 10, which is exactly where it's sitting. This is worth 4 tenths. Okay, and we expand it by multiplying it by the place. It's in the tenths, so we represent it again as a fraction. Let's go to the next one. Plus, notice I closed the parentheses. So let's go to the next one, add your parentheses, 
take the digit, it's an 8, write your multiplication sign, the 8 is sitting in the hundredths, and we write it as a fraction, because it's a decimal. Remember, fractions, we can relate to decimals, and if you haven't watched that video, be sure you do. 8 times 1 hundredth. Close parentheses, plus parentheses, my last digit is a 7, I multiply it by the place, it's in the thousandths, but it's not a thousand way over here, it's over here, it's tiny, it's 7 out of a thousand, so we write it as a fraction, 1 over a thousand. And that is how you do expanded form with a number that has digits up to the thousandths place. Thank you guys so much, make sure you check out the other videos for place value.